Welcome back everyone, hope you are well. So we are going to review this Boulevard Marine Star in this video today. But again, before we start with the review, if you like this channel and like my videos, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. It really encourages me to keep making these videos for you and it really, really helps in keeping this channel alive. So if you are watching my videos unsubscribed, please take this opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Let's quickly get the price out of the way. So I paid 130 Australian dollars for this watch on Amazon Australia. This was shipped out of the US and I think for the amount of money that I've paid for it, it is a lot of watch. And this is my first Boulevard on this channel as well. So I am really excited. So let's have a closer look at this timepiece. So this is the uh, the reference number for this particular model. Now when I first laid my eyes on this watch, um, it looked so similar to Tudor Pelagos and Tudor Pelagos is one of my all time favorites. So I did not think twice before purchasing this watch, but I'm not go going to compare this watch with, um, with Pelagos in this video. I'm going to look at this watch independently in its own right. So let's quickly start off with the uh, dimension. So I measured the case at 43 millimeters across. If we consider these two crown guards on either side, then we're looking at around 44 millimeters. And if we consider the crown as well, then we're looking at around 46 millimeters. The thickness on this case is 12 millimeters. And the lug to lug distance I measured was just around 51.2 millimeters and the lug width is 22 millimeters on this watch. Looking at the case, we have a stainless steel case with mainly brushed look along the top of the case. And we have polished or highly polished look along the side of the case. And we do have a signed crown as well. So that's a nice touch from Boulevard at this price point. We have a mineral crystal that sits quite flat on the top. I really like the uh, the deepness of this dial. I really like how deep it sits from the uh, from the glass on the top. While we're talking about the dial, we have a black dial accompanied by this white luminous hands and luminous markers. We'll check the loom shortly as well, but we'll stay on the dial for now. We have a Boulevard Marine Star written just underneath the 12 o'clock, and we have 100 meters written just above six o'clock. So this watch does have 100 meters of water resistance, which is really, really handy. I would have loved to have a, a screw down crown on this watch, but it comes with a simple pull and push crown for now. We have the date function at three o'clock, and this is a quartz watch, as you can see how it's ticking along. So to set the time and date, it is quite simple. All you need to do is to pull the crown out to position one, and you will be able to set the date on this watch. So just rotate it in an anti-clockwise position and the date will change. And when you pull the crown out to its final position, you will be able to set the time. So that's quite straightforward. And we do have the uh, the minute track that runs around the chapter ring or the outer ring of the, uh, of the dial. And the seconds hand um, just falls quite sh a little short of the, um, of the minute track, but it does align with the minute track okay. So I don't see any uh, alignment issues or any serious issues to be honest with you. Then we have a 120 click unidirectional bezel on this one. No problems with uh, rotation on this bezel at all. It is uh, quite smooth as well, has a nice click to it. And I think this has, a, uh, has an aluminium insert as well. The only thing I've noticed with this bezel is that it does have a lot of play as you can see now in the video. And I'm not sure if this is the case with my watch only or this is a known issue with this particular watch. So if you have a watch like this and you have been facing the same issue with this bezel, please let me know. But yeah, as far as this bezel is concerned, I'm uh, a little bit disappointed on the quality of it. Let's check the loom as well. I'll turn the lights off so we can uh, have a look at the, uh, the quality of the loom on this watch. Okay, so here we go. It's not too bad. Does a decent job. It is not the brightest um, of the looms that I've seen on watches, um, but for the price point, I think it does uh, it does a decent job. So not really disappointed on the loom. I think uh, yeah, it it does manage to uh, to do the job really nicely. We do have the uh, a loom tip on the seconds hand as well as you can see how it's ticking along 
So yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Would have loved to have a pip loom on this as well, but yeah, no pip loom on this bezel. I'll turn the lights back on so we can carry on with the uh, with the remainder of our review. Now let's look at the um, this bracelet as well. So we have a stainless steel bracelet with brushed look all the way, including the inner links as well. I think that just follows through from the uh, the top of the case and we have the brushed look on this clasp as well so we have a fold over clasp with two push, push buttons on either side and we have the uh, the matte look inside the clasp as well and we have the uh, solid end links on this um, on this uh, bracelet so that's a really nice touch and really nice value at this price point while we're at the we'll look at, at the um, at the case back, let's uh, it's a, it's a solid case back, and it has some information written there about the watch. Uh, so it's stainless steel, water resistance is 100 meters. I think this is made in China. This watch, and we have Boulevard written there along with the logo as well. Let me put this on my uh, seven inch wrist, so I'll give you an idea how this watch looks. Uh, or stacks up on my wrist so here we go now there, it's not sized uh, at the moment but you can see there is there is slightly or some uh, lug overhang there so not too bad but it does sit quite flat so that's a uh, it that's definitely working in its favor I think this watch will uh, suit uh, bigger wrists really well will look much nicer on um, on wrists bigger than mine so apart from uh, this sort of loose uh, bezel on this watch I have no complaints it is a really nice looking thing um, does the job really nicely and it's a quartz watch as well so it will tick along forever all you will need to do is just change the battery every few years and uh, this watch will last you for ages and ages so um, yeah again a final look not a bad looking thing at all so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you with my next video shortly until then stay safe and look after one another thank you very much